So now that the mixture has finished cooling, I've poured it into a glass cup like this. And I've produced the setup so that the chopstick is suspended in the mixture, but it's not touching the bottom of the glass. And so we're going to wait here for the crystal to form on the chopstick. And that might take a while, like a couple of days probably. And we're going to check in perhaps every few hours, six hours or so, to see how this mixture is doing and see how the crystals are forming on the chopstick. So I am looking at this setup around one day after I have started it and you can see that at the surface some crystals have been forming already and if you look through the side of the glass there are crystals on the bottom of the glass and on the chopstick. So so far it seems to be working fine and I think that the reason crystals also formed on the bottom and surface of the glass and not only on the chopstick is because perhaps there are some other rough surfaces that the sugar crystals got in contact with, which is why the crystals seem to be forming in multiple places. So now the setup has been here for around 24 hours, and you can see that the sugar crystals at the top have uh, formed pretty well into this thick layer. And you can also see that the crystals are forming on the chopstick too. So each individual crystal looks around a little more than one millimeter in diameter, I'd say. And the sugar crystals are also forming on the bottom and sides of the glass. So here's the setup after 24 hours. So now it's approximately 36 hours after the setup has been created. And you can see that, well, before the crystals on the chopstick seem to have been more circular, now it seems more elongated and more crystals have formed on the bottom, sides, and top of the glass. And so the crystals seem to be getting pretty big and the experiment seems to be working pretty well. So that's the system after 36 hours.